Big news today, Cardinal Timothy Dolan is back in town for a big speech this evening. We have team coverage of his visit. We're going to check in with Lacey Crisp in just a minute. But first, let's go to Charles Benson, live outside the Milwaukee Theater downtown. Charles. And the Cardinal getting ready to give that speech around 7 o'clock, a little bit later than that. This is his... Uh, one of the few times he has come back to visit here in Milwaukee. This is a sold out event, sold out in the sense that they were free tickets, but they went really fast. And so the question is, is the Milwaukee Theater the right venue or should they have it, should have had it at Miller Park because he is still very popular today. He made a strong connection while he was here in Milwaukee as the Archbishop. Catholics used to say he made you feel good about being Catholic again. And so he has been gone for a few years, but certainly not forgotten. So what do you know about the Cardinal? What do you like about him? Well, I know him from being the Archbishop here in Milwaukee, and what I like about him is that he's so positive. He's, uh, I think he's well-liked because he's cheerful, um, brings out the message of the gospel with joy. I was just looking at notes from last year's lecture, and Father Barron mentioned that Cardinal Dolan lives the faith with great joy. I think he's such a great witness of true compassion and humility and joyfulness. So lots of people looking forward to his speech here. In fact, many people arriving early. There is a private reception here with the Cardinal and then the speech here starting after 7 o'clock. We're live in downtown Milwaukee. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Yeah, no surprise. It's a full house. Thanks a lot, Charles. And many people say the Cardinal Dolan is charismatic. Lacey Crisp talked about that with current Archbishop Jerome Listecki. Lacey. Well, just to give you an idea about how popular Cardinal Dolan is, you can see the people filing in already. Now, he started this lecture series. Usually about three to 400 people attend. Well, 4,000 are expected tonight to hear Dolan talk. And we spoke with Archbishop Listecki about his predecessor. They will connect with Cardinal Dolan on, um, on the, the most basic level, his love for food, you know, uh, you know um, uh, his ability to cry and laugh with people. It's been years since Cardinal Timothy Dolan led the Milwaukee Archdiocese, but he's still considered a crowd favorite. He's also considered the most influential American Catholic. Is there something about him that we don't know, a quirky story that you have about him that you can share with us? I don't think it can there be more quirky than he is in public. I mean, there's, uh, you know, to, to do that. He, uh, you, you see, uh, when you see uh, Cardinal Dolan, you see, you, you see him as he is. He is a genuine person. Dolan isn't the only Cardinal in town. Cardinal Harvey, a native of Milwaukee, is also here. Of course, it's a, it's a rarity for us to have uh, uh, two Cardinals at the, uh, in, in town at the, at the same time, and both with such uh, tremendous ties. To, um, uh, to Milwaukee. Both Cardinals had a say in deciding on Pope Francis. Listecki argues that made it much more interesting back here in the U.S. So many people had a personal pony in the show. I mean, they had uh, an, an individual who they knew uh, personally, and this just kind of raised the, the, the interest of the conclave to a completely different level. And both Cardinals are sticking around until tomorrow. They'll both be attending a fundraiser tomorrow night to support the seminary. Reporting live from downtown Milwaukee, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. Yeah, pretty impressive to have two Cardinals in town. Lacey, thank you very much.